go somewhere. All right, so I am gonna be going to Flagstaff today. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. This is gonna be like uh, information slash little, little mini travel vlog here. My wife and I have a cabin up north in Flagstaff and I haven't been in about a month. So I gotta go up. We use that as an Airbnb. So I gotta go up, fix some things. And then I think we're gonna be putting up for sale. So sale, I should say. Uh, so I have my sign right here and the post should be installed today. So we're gonna get it ready for the market. I'm a real estate agent. I don't know if you guys know that. That's a little sidebar, but we've had the cabin for about a year and it's been great, but it's also very stressful. Being two hours away and stuff goes wrong and the snow and all that stuff, it's just very, very stressful. So we have about a two hour drive. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We're about an hour out and this video is really going to be about how to shoot like a little short film. So I'm going to be shooting a, a little 30 to 60 second short film. I've been really into doing some really cool like inspirational posts and I'm huge into Bible verses and in my faith. So I thought I would just pick a verse and do a little short film. And I also want to go over some wedding questions I've been getting. Um, a lot of questions I've been getting are, why don't I shoot a ceremony film? And the reason is, is because the ceremony is the most stressful part of a wedding day, in my opinion. Um, having to set up multiple cameras and making sure the audio is good and making sure you just get every shot. So if I'm only worried about one camera and one source of audio, it's a lot less stressful than if you were to set up all those different angles and making sure you get the shot. So how I shoot a ceremony is I, I set up mainly for vows. Those are my most important part because that's what I include in basically all my wedding films. So I'm able to move accordingly with one camera and I get just some highlights of the ceremony and then I'm down the aisle the rest of the time waiting for the kiss. So it makes my life a lot easier and honestly you don't like brides don't really necessarily need a ceremony film. I mean, some brides do, don't get me wrong. And in that case, I'll just hire a second videographer to come with me for a ceremony only. <laughs> That's kind of how I tackle that uh, because I charge 500 bucks for a ceremony film and I'll pay a videographer like 250 bucks to come for an hour and basically do the ceremony with me and then uh, bridal photos afterwards. So. Um, so that's what I do if I do ceremony film. So that's why I don't include ceremony in my, my wedding packages. And yeah, it's the way I do it. It doesn't mean it's the right way. Uh, but at the end of the day, as a solo videographer, I don't have to worry about the ceremony film and I don't have to be as stressed. So that's why I don't do it. So like I said, we're about an hour out and I'm gonna answer a few more questions on the way up. So see you soon. You're about 20 minutes away. Uh, I wanted to pull over because I see some cool stuff that I want to get some aerial footage of. There's like a little running stream over here and there's some snow around here. So I thought this would be a good little place to stop to do some cinematic shots for the short film I'm making. So before we do that, I've also been asked why I like to shoot solo. It's always nice having two videographers, uh, but Shooting solo allows me to price my packages accordingly and it also allows me to really only have to rely on myself. Um, it's, it's hard getting videographers these days. Um, everyone's doing their own business and I don't want to commit to that. So I have packages, higher end packages that have two videographers, but I'm comfortable shooting solo and in my solo packages, I'm only providing a three to four minute film. So. I truly like that aspect of shooting solo, but that's why I shoot solo. That's solely the only reason. I think it's great to have two videographers. You can get a lot more different angles and shots, and it's great for longer films. So any of my longer films, anything basically above six minutes, I like to have a second videographer. So yeah, 
it's not that I don't like to have second videographer, it's just I prefer to shoot solo because I have a system in place. So anyways, that's the answer to that question. But now the sun just came out, but I'm hoping that there's a lot of clouds coming in. So I'm hoping I can get some cool drone shots. I'm trying to make a more moody film. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to go, to get covered again with the cloud and then before I put my aerial drone up. Aerial drone, <sighs> newbie. Anyways, see what we can get. So uh, what's nice about a drone, by the way, I am flying the DJI Mavic Air 2S. That's my drone. Uh, it's very light and I can put it into my bag and it's very small. So that's why I enjoy that. And what's great about having a truck is you can just go right off the back of the bed. Um, so we're gonna get this going here. The highway is that way. So I'll be able to get some cool highway footage. See what this drone shot looks like? Check it out. Alright, so that footage is pretty sweet. Um, now I'm gonna go around, probably get just some atmospheric stuff with my camera because I'm just trying to get as much nature establishing shots as possible because I'm gonna be creating like an overall moody short film. I'm trying to figure out what verse it's gonna be. Um, we can go over that later, but I know I'm gonna need these shots. And it's supposed to be cloudy the next two days, so it's really gonna give an overall feel of what I wanted to do in the video. So. Let's get a couple of that and let's get to the cabin. All right, we're inside the Airbnb. It's kind of cute, a little cozy. We did like a little wall over there. Let's see if I can focus up. A little electric fireplace. It looks kind of like a real fireplace. I'll show you that later. Um, we have these big windows behind me that just looks to the backyard. And then we got our kitchen and just living space. It's a very small uh, bed. It's a very small cabin, I should say. Um, we have this room right here. Um, this is one of the bedrooms. This is kind of like where the queen is. Uh, my wife decorated it in some wallpaper. Looks really good. And this is kind of the kids' room here. So we have board and batten all the way around. It's kind of hard to tell in here, but... And then we got two twin beds there. And then we got really cool wallpaper all over the ceiling. So it's a very nice and cozy cabin. We love the cabin. Like I said, it's just, it's pretty expensive right now. And... It's just a pain in the butt. Like I'm gonna have to fix uh, a door here in a second. And then there's a couple leaks that I gotta fix or try to fix. And then um, from there, then we're good. Then I can create some videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm getting kind of hungry. So I'm gonna try to fix that real fast. And then we'll go into town, grab a bite to eat and finish up this, this video. So I think I got it. I got some uh, seal tape here. Two kinds, just in case I don't like one of them. I also got this little thing. I don't even know if I need this thing. Like I said, I don't know if I even got the right things, but I'm determined to get it fixed because I'm not gonna spend 150 bucks for a plumber. So we got that, I'm hungry. Let's go eat and then we'll get back and fix it. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna go to one of my favorite places here. It's called Proper Meats and Provisions. If you're in Flagstaff, it's a must-try sandwich shop. All right, scratch that, they're closed. 
That's unfortunate. So we're gonna go to my one of my second, probably my second favorite place in Flagstaff, and that is Sasoba. Sasoba is a ramen place, and it's freezing now, so ramen is perfect. All right, so that was amazing. I also want to go to one more place before I go to the library. Um, I don't know if you guys know what mead is. It's a drink of the Vikings, I like to call it. It's a, I don't even know how to even explain it. It's like a wine slash beer slash something. It's made with honey. So they, uh, they brew it with honey and that's what it gives it the alcohol. So I'm going to go in there, have a flight for you guys. So you guys can take a look what that is. And then from there, you'll go to the library. So let's head to the, to the mead, get some mead and show you what the Vikings drink back in the day. Yeah, so this is one of the best places in town. I've never had mead outside of Flagstaff. So as soon as I heard about this place, I was like, what the heck is this place? And I come every time now because it's awesome. Especially, there's really no one in here right now, but at night it's popping. A lot of people here. Um, but yeah, you can just pick your different, uh, I don't know if you can see this here. You just pick your, pick your different f flavors. Um, I'm doing one called Unicorn Blood. I'm doing the traditional. I'm doing the plum. That's a new one. I haven't tried that one before. Um, lemon ginger. I haven't tried that one before. Doc Holiday, which is like a huckleberry mead. Um, black cherry and apple. So, and it's all on tap too. So you can also take home bottles if you would like to. But this is it. If you're here, it's called the Drinking Horn, Drinking Horn Meadery. So. All right, so that was incredible. Uh, like I said, drinking horde meadery. Come when you guys visit Flagstaff, you won't regret it. Um, now I'm gonna go, I'm in downtown Flagstaff. Now I gotta get my beautiful girls some stickers because they're obsessed with stickers and they love this sticker place. <laughs> That finishes our things here downtown. Let's get back, uh, try to fix that hose bib, and then also I need to put my house up for sale. So I'm gonna hang the sign, then kind of just relax the rest of the night and show you guys the rest of the little short film I'm making. So we'll see you back at the house. All right, so finish the hose bib, stop leaking. And then I, Hung the sign. I'll show you that guy in the morning because it is freezing outside and it's raining outside. Um, it's just nasty outside, which makes great because I'm doing this video, but it's been a long day, long adventurous day. And uh, I'm just enjoying creating again. Like I've been depressed for the past year and I'm I was trying to figure out what that was. I mean, obviously like I need to pray a lot more, be in my Bible a lot more, but the most important thing for me is I stopped creating. So it's been really weird the past three weeks when I said I was gonna start creating again and I've have been creating again, how happy I am and how much joy creating brings to my life. Um, it's really cool to see. So I, my whole like attitude has changed. I mean, I still have my moments cause I have a lot going on, but it's definitely not as many. And when I'm creating, I just feel like I'm in my special place. So. I'm gonna create, be creating a lot more on this channel, um, different stuff. Uh, my full-time videographer will be joining us next week as he joins forces for the first time. Um, so we have a lot planned, a lot to do, a lot to shoot, and just to hopefully provide content and information for you guys. So that's what's to expect, and that's just my newly obsessed thing for creating again. I mean, I just enjoy creating, so, and I miss it. So with that being said, let's spend the rest of the night, get some more cinematic shots, and I'll get back on here soon. Okay, so here's the thing. 
I have to get home and it's snowing pretty bad. And if I don't go now, I won't be able to make it back down the mountain tomorrow, I don't think. The next time you guys see me, I will be back in the studio doing some type of edit with me or a different type of thing for, for just informational purposes. So stay tuned for that next video. I'm gonna call it on this video because I gotta get back down the mountain. It's been a blast up here. I was only up here for a few hours. Um, I wasn't able to stay the night, but it's totally good. I got what I needed to do and I was able to get some cool footage and now it's snowing. So it was a great overall time. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't